All right, so I've decided to finally make a video showing off the UNIAC, the ultimate Nixie internet alarm clock. It's a, it's a Raspberry Pi connected to the internet. It streams Spotify. It's in a boombox form factor, and it has six IN12 tubes to show current time, track time, other information, which I'll show you in a minute, and a pair of IN13 bar graph tubes, which are used as view meters for the currently playing audio. As you saw, it plays music. It has current time, previous screen, track time remaining, elapsed track time, a calendar, today is March 8th, an alarm clock, Retro wave out run. a robot voice which tells you Play the current playlist, Maybe song. Shuffle. Settings menu, and back around to the clock. So that's UNIAC in a nutshell. Let's tear her apart. All right, here we go. Four screws hold the thing together on the front. And what you'll see is that the speakers are in the front module. A pair of standoffs hold a motherboard with all the electronics. And then the back half of the clamshell is held to the second pair of standoffs. Inside the front module, there is a control board uh, for the buttons, which is just an I squared C breakout board. Here's an unpopulated copy, uh, which all the buttons get soldered down to. And then a uh, bus with I squared C connections, high voltage and ground, high voltage being the 12 volts that the uh, lights need, not the ultra high voltage, ultra high voltage, quote unquote, that the Nixies uh, need to, to run. So now let's take a moment and I'll flip it over and take off the back. All right, I've reattached the screws to the front and now let's take a tour of the back of the UNIAC. No real reason other than uh, I wanted to do it in steps. So here we go. When we take off the back cover, we see obviously the two large speakers and the main board. Control, uh, controls for power and volume and power input over here. There's no internal batteries at the moment. I just use one of these 12 volt lithium packs uh, taped to the back if I want to carry it on the road. Probably add a lithium pack in the future, but for now uh, I decided to just actually build the device. Uh, what we see here, uh, as I mentioned, the speakers. We also have an Adafruit Class D amplifier module, an I2S sound card, the Raspberry Pi Zero itself, a couple of 5 volt buck regulators to take the 12 volt input and drive everything, the circuitry for the VU meter tubes, which I have in detail on a separate post. A Teensy 3.2, which is used as an I2C slave to the Raspberry Pi and drives the six Nixie tubes along with the eight decimal point uh, tubes. There's also two separate boost regulators to drive the Nixies. That's honestly because I was lazy and had both these circuits validated and verified and the IN13s and uh, IN12s do use different voltages, so I just decided to treat them as entirely separate subsystems. But that's the uh, UNIAC in a nutshell. The software itself is a combination of uh, Mopity Spotify and a Python script that I wrote myself and have published on Git. So. That is the UNIAC, and without screwing it back together, I'll flip her over one more time and hit play. It's a quiet starting song. Anyway, thank you.